Hey guys, it's Faison once again. This is your weekly uplink where we cover all star citizen news for the past week. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of star citizen content, so make sure to subscribe for more. I also stream every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So if you have any questions or if you just like to hang out, you can follow me there as well. My links are down below. And without any further ado, let's get started. This week in Inside Star Citizen, CIG gave us an insight on the new reputation system coming in Star Citizen 3.13. The reputation system allows them to track values for a player's reputation with an entity in-game. The way reputation is measured is via a concept called scope. Within scope, there are two things. The first is affinity. This is a value that measures how an entity likes you. What affects affinity is mostly your mission performance. In regards to organizations, affinity is a high-level measure of that organization's opinion towards you. This controls whether the organization will be friendly or aggressive towards you. Second is confidence slash career. This is a measure on how good they think you are at your job. As it pertains to organizations, they could have multiple career scopes. This means that they could see that you're good at delivery missions, but terrible at bounty missions. Within scopes, they have standings. These are what we know as ranks in our traditional MMOs. The intent of this reputation is to grant rewards and privileges as we progress throughout the game. In the future, there will be actions that you can do to affect your reputation. This could be how you respond during a conversation, or whether you shoot at them, or even how you dress. Reputation will be a balancing act for players, as some orgs like players whom engage in PvP, for example, while others don't. Jared also went through a patch report for the upcoming Star Citizen 3.13. On initial release, we can expect the new reputation system which we just went through. The new driving and sinkhole cave entrances, new asteroid textures with variations, non-commercial overlay updates in some stations, an overall graphical update on all planetary bodies. They're also adding new mission types for quantum sensitive and time sensitive delivery missions. The new stagger and force reaction, the object push and pull, and mounted guns. Docking with the Merlin and Connie, ship to station docking will be out in a subsequent patch. New implementation of vehicle visual degradation system, the new mining subcomponents which allow for more customization, new ship namings for an initial set of ships. These are the 600i, the 890 jump, the hammerhead, the reclaimer, the MSR, and the anvil Carrick. The new SDF shields are expanding to all ships. The new Cyclone MT variant, the new Tumbro tank, and the Starlifter will be in a subsequent patch later this quarter. This week in Star Citizen Live, the lore team went over the gangs of Pyro. You can check out the live stream here. What do you think of the new reputation system coming Star Citizen 3.13? Let me know in the comments below. If you saw anything in this video that you like, make sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one.